Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Crystal, and today I'm coming back with another banger video for you guys. Today I'll be showing you how to install any diffuser on a, any 5th gen Camaro that you guys have. Now for me, I went ahead and got the uh, SS1LE diffuser. That way I can fit the exhaust for my quad tip exhaust. Now if you haven't seen last video, the reason that I need this 1LE diffuser over the stock one is to fit my NPP exhaust off of the ZL1. So this SS1LE diffuser will do the trick. Go ahead and keep watching to see how it's all get gets done. But uh, I'm coming at you guys with another video trying to do those uh, Wednesday, Sunday uploads for you guys. Let me know what you guys think of the install in the comments down below. But let's just get right into it. Hey guys, I just got this big huge box right here in the mail today. And I'm super stoked on it because it's a new diffuser for the Camaro. Super excited for it, so just like that guys, let's unbox it and I can show you the differences. Okay guys, you ready for the reveal? Now I know it's not going to be something that crazy, that special, but it is a 1LE diffuser. So as you can tell, the gap right here is much bigger. So why would I be putting this on you ask? Well I'm going to let you use your imagination and keep watching this space for some more videos because here probably in the next video or two we're going to have something filling this gap that's not a single four and a half inch tailpipe which we have on the car right now. Since I'm lowered a little bit, to do this install what I have to do is I have to jack up the car and the first thing we're going to do is access the inner fender well and we have to take off the rear bumper in order to get this guy on. So the first thing we have, I think it's 6 T20 bits on the inside of the wheel and I'll show you guys that here now. Alright guys, so mind how dirty it is, that's fine and sorry my garage right now, it's super echoey and it's on my phone right now, not my big camera right there. But it's just to get in and show you where the T20s are. They're all up in here. And there's six of them along there. So as you can see, there's one like right there. And it goes all the way up and in past there. You can see that one right there. Yeah, mind how dirty it is. I apologize about that. But there's a bunch through here that you got to get out. And it's on both sides. Okay, once you got all that done, you're going to want to pull out really hard on this. There's a couple little like clip look like places and you really think that you're gonna break the bumper right here. But you're not going to pull it out like this and then you're gonna wanna kinda slowly pull it back and just start working it back and it'll come off. Okay guys, I was able to pull the bumper off. So what I had to do is once I pulled it out this way, I had to hold right here with my hand and pull on right up here. So um, the key is pull like that so you hit the top and you kind of want to pull down on this and this side pull straight back. Um, but it was pretty tight on there. Luckily um, I got it sitting on the tips because these sit pretty far back. But same thing over here and I was able to pull it off. Now I just got to remove it and put it on um, some blankets or whatever that I have. So I have it this so it won't scrape the bumper as much as I'd like to and yeah I'll take it off and show you that. Okay let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna grab it the center here, walk it back. Good nothing else is attached. Now I'm just gonna set it on the ground and there we have it. All right, so we got the bumper off right here, and then what we're gonna need to do is go in. There's gonna be seven millimeter there, 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 and there, and then we're gonna remove the water, the wiring harness from this cage right here, because that's what we're trying to take out. This cage right here has to come out so we can have access to the factory diffuser before putting on our new 1LE diffuser. Okay, guys, so this is the tray again so what we have to do I found it's best to use a pair of like pliers and in here is let's see if I can this guy right here is a tab that you have to pull back and pull up on that so what I have found is while using these guys right here squish that and pull up at the same time and you're able to get it out 
Same goes for this side right there. Then you come to the middle right here and slowly but carefully kind of pull up on it. And it'll sound like it's breaking, but just be careful, do it slowly, and it should come out. And then I believe it should be should be free. Still got this guy hooked up right here. Just go slowly, make sure everything is detached. And just like that guys, we'll pull that off. And then, next step. All right, so as you can see, that's what the cage looks like pulled off of the bumper right here. So there's the tips and all that. Definitely looks different. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna punch out all of these guys right in there. And then we're gonna be able to take off the stock diffuser. So stripping it down to this point, it's had its challenges, but I really just haven't been able to get these clips. And I've been doing it for quite a while. So I'm actually gonna try and use a hairdryer. Um, normally I would a heat gun, but I don't have a heat gun with me right here right now. And so gonna try it here, see if it helps. So as you can see guys, the difference isn't too crazy. But finally, after using the heat gun, or in my case, a hair dryer, I got it off. Saved me a bunch of time. And all I can say is I'm relieved that I got it off. Definitely, definitely, definitely use heat. I don't care if you have multiple people, you have screwdrivers, you have whatever. Use heat. Those clips are not fun. Um, but luckily they say the install is super easy and you don't have to fight any of the clips or anything like that They just fall into place and I mean I'm super stoked guys I mean it looks very much the same just a lot cleaner because it's brand spanking new and Instead of the circles right there. We've got room for dual tips or quad tips two on either side so unfortunately these four and a half inch tips are here soon to go. Um, the total exhaust system is getting changed up. Um, I've been happy with this system for as long as I've had it and even all the systems that it's gone before, but it's time to be retired and we're gonna move on to something new. But if you guys wanna hear this exhaust and all the clips that I've made of it, go ahead, click in one of the corners up here. I'll have a playlist of the exhaust videos and here soon, if you guys are watching this late, I will even add the new exhaust to it. So, just like that guys, um, we're just gonna do the same process, just in reverse on this, and I bet you it's gonna look pretty, pretty cool. And replacing the factory diffuser right behind it with the 1LE diffuser was just as easy as taking it off, just shove in the clips, get it all lined up, I flipped the bumper upside down to get it in and it seemed to work out really good to get it all in like this and I mean not only the fact that it's just so much cleaner than like the one that I've been running it just looks a little bit more aggressive even though you know the fins are all the same size it just looks better in my opinion and it's gonna look really good with the exhaust that I have coming with it so I'm super excited I'm gonna fasten up the cage back here, back onto there, and then get it all on the car and show you guys uh, how it looks. All right guys, I was able to put the bumper back on, just doing the reverse of the process. Pretty simple, I'm putting it back, and as you can tell, um, it's kind of hard to tell that the bumper's even been removed. But this is our final product right here. Um, unfortunately, it is in my garage, so it's kind of hard to tell. But it looks pretty good if you ask me. Um, if you guys want to do a separate diffuser, custom diffuser on there, go right ahead, go for it. Um, like I said, um, and showed you in the last video, I put the ZL1 NPP exhaust on it. And um, you can do the same install on the rear diffuser on any aftermarket rear diffuser, even the ZL1 ones with the little side streaks down the side there. I just went simple, and I like the look of the Z, of the 1LE one that we did on here, and that right there will be the finished product. So there you guys have it. That's the SS 1LE diffuser install on my 2010 Chevy Camaro V6. 
Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments down below. Should I have gone with the ZL1 one with the little side strike? Should I have gone completely custom and done like a Havoc rear diffuser or something like that? For me, I needed something that fits the quad tip exhaust and I like kind of the subtlety of the SS1 LE one. It's not necessarily something that, um, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if I change it up down the line, but it was something that I could fit the uh, NPP exhaust on, and I personally really like the way that it looks. It gives it a subtle but aggressive vibe on the back. So let me know what you guys think of the comments down below, and uh, what you guys want to see in the next video, because I'm going to try and do two uploads for you guys a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and uh, we're on our way to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. That's my goal. And if you guys like this video, please uh, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Tell your friends about it if they've got a Camaro or anything like that or a WRX that they want to see uh, content and videos on. Let me know in the comments down below and I'd love to do videos with you guys or about certain things that you guys are interested in. So if that sounds like you, uh, please go ahead and leave a comment down below and hit that thumbs up and subscribe. But just like that guys, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.